So I'm going to give you a very brief explanation of how we drive one of our historic tram cars. And it sounds very easy, but there's quite a knack to it. It takes a trainee about four to six weeks to actually learn how to drive a tram, to go through a formal test and then be taken out on the line to carry passengers safely. But just to go through the controls, the controller here controls the amount of power from the overhead. So we run on 550DC and that comes down through various wiring through the tram into the controller here. It's got two handles on the top, two on the lovely brass top. This one's called the key and without the key you can't turn the controller handle. So if I take the key away with me, nobody can pinch me tram, you can't make it move. Put, put the key in place, push it forward and what that does is it releases the controller handle so we can start to turn it. There's two directions on the key, push it forward, the tram moves forwards and pull it backwards, the tram will move backwards. We very rarely use going backwards, that's just for maybe shunting or if we need to bring a disabled tram home and by driving it back to the shed in reverse. But so put, the, put the key forward and move this handle and get these lovely clicks as we go through what we call a series of, of, of points. What that's doing inside here by um, a clever wiring and there is something called a resistance underneath the tram. You can't start the tram off in one go. So if we put 550 volts DC to the motors and switched it on, the tram would go bang because there's so much energy and power there. So every time I go through a point there, it's reducing the amount of resistance in circuit and giving the motors a little bit of a extra power. So the driver moves the handle, listens to how the motors respond and you can hear the motor getting a bit more power and then when it's sort of settled down you keep moving up to the points. But to make it a little bit more complicated it's called a series parallel controller. So in the first five points the motors are arranged in series and by going through what we call a transition point there and moving up through parallel points the wiring in the controller changes to parallel and all the motors are now sharing the overhead power but again with resistance points and we go up through gradually to we're on to point nine and that's your maximum power no resistance and all the motors in parallel so we go up in a series of points like that we've got to be very very certain of when we want to switch the controller off it's got to be like that in one arc because the controller inside may arc with electricity so we've got to off like that quite back it sounds quite dangerous but that's what it's designed to do with the stop the other handle I've got, we always use my right hand, is the air brake. There's a, a compressor underneath which um, builds up compressed air, fills a tank with compressed air. And there's also a brake piston and mechanism underneath which applies blocks onto the wheels, metal blocks. So what this is it really a valve that lets air escape from the, the tank with the compressed air in into the brake cylinder. So if we go to the right, that moves, lets air into the brake cylinder from the tank bring it back into what we call a lap position which holds the, the pressure and then you can hear that lovely hissing noise when we release the air like that okay a bit of a technique to drive in this because you, you can't just go like that and put the, the, the air on in one go because you, you could get the tram into a skid by the by putting too much brake on and of course the passengers get thrown around so we do a, what we call um, nibbling or sim like that, pinch in the air like that until you get enough brake power to stop them and then if you get too much just release a little bit. So you're doing that between Douglas and Ramsey half the journey is probably under power and half would be on the brakes freewheeling down the hills so the motorman when you're freewheeling his skill because the gradient on this line changes all the time and the curves will slow you down or any of the gradient steep you'll you pick up he works the brake all the time little flicks like that just to keep a nice constant speed for the passengers so they're inside they're not getting bumped around when you go into corners and that's so that's the bit where I think the, the skill comes in I just stand up to demonstrate this then this is the um, the handbrake which is worked by a wheel and it again applies the brakes but through a different mechanism than the air brake so that if we have a problem with the air for whatever reason we can control the tram with the handbrake and also if you park on the gradient or leave the tram for any sort of period of time you um, you apply the handbrake so there's a little pull on my foot then wind it on like that so that's put the brake on and then if we want to release it just kick the pull out from underneath like that lovely and also a couple of pedals beneath my feet here we've got that lovely whistle and a sand pedal for dropping sand on the line for adhesion so if you press the handle down the pedal should say down really really hard it drops sand from hoppers which are inside we can show you in a minute underneath the seats here 
and we use that if, if for example you're on a damp slippery day and you're going up a steep hill which you've got loads on the MER it just drops um, sand onto the rails and the wheels grip increases adhesion and likewise sometimes if you're stopping you, you can drop a bit of sand on the increases adhesion and it reduces your braking distance so it's a really I suppose simplistic way of doing it but it works really really well so there's not really much it's not like the, the cockpit of a Boeing 747 with all these dials up there that's what we need to make the tram work so we to start the tram the brakes are always on full the keys forward like that we give two toots on the whistle, we obviously get a bell from the conductor, two toots on the whistle, and you get like that. Let the air out and start to build her up through the points like that. Dead easy. Best job in the world as well, driving one of these. <laughs>